Turning now to what's happening this weekend in your local area. We are looking at two celebratory events happening today. One highlights a country's culture, another showcasing the various forms of art. The 40th annual Black Ships Festival starts today celebrating Japanese culture and the relationship between the country and the United States. Meanwhile, nearby in Riverside, the Luoff Arts Festival will celebrate different types of art from fine paintings to ceramics and metalworks. Ashley Erling takes a closer look at what's happening there this weekend. An annual event is celebrating its 40th year in Rhode Island. The Black Ships Festival is back and once again the majority of events are being held in Bristol. Events are happening all weekend long at Independence Park where you can see and take part in a variety of free family friendly cultural events such as drumming, martial arts and vendors selling food, crafts and souvenirs. Also happening this weekend, the Loop Summer Arts Festival. Now in its eighth year, it's happening today from noon until six along the East Providence waterfront at the carousel. I spoke with organizers who expect the event to be better than ever. The Loop is a beautiful summer arts festival here in East Providence. We have 75 local vendors coming out to sell their artwork. We have live performances all day, 15 performances from bands, acapella groups, uh, dance groups. So there's such a wide variety. So we have um, artists with paintings, photography, sculpture, pottery. Um, we have some authors. So there's, there's really something for everyone here. The mission of the council is to create, well, help to create a vibrant, colorful community of artists and to represent local artists. So um, we thought that there was no better way to do this than to have an arts festival, art and music. And so it's really just a summer celebration of all of that. And the festival really embodies what the Louvre means, which is a whirlwind of art, music and life. We're just hoping that people have a good time here. We're hoping that they find themselves in the arts somewhere along the way and maybe that they leave a bit inspired. There is no cost for admission, and Jillian also told me there is plentiful free parking, and you can't beat that. For 12 News, I'm Ashley Erling.